So what we're going to do today to understand this translation process is we're going to take a look at how that compiler actually reasons about translating C code into assembly. Now, this is not a compiler class. 6172 is not a class that you take if you want to learn how to build a compiler. Uh, and you're not going to need to know everything about a compiler to follow today's lecture. But, it, but what we will see are just a little bit, is just a little bit about how the compiler understands a program, and later on, how, that, how the compiler can translate that program into assembly code. Now, when a compiler compiles a program, it does so through a sequence of stages, which are illustrated on this slide. Starting from the C code, it first pre-processes that code, dealing with all the uh, macros, and that produces pre-processed source. Uh, then the compiler will translate that source code into an intermediate representation. For the client compiler that you're using, that intermediate representation is called LLVM IR. LLVM being the name of the underlying compiler, and IR being the creative name for the intermediate representation. That LLVM IR is really a sort of pseudo assembly. It's kind of like assembly, but as we'll see, that's actually, it's actually a lot simpler than x86-64 assembly. And that's why we'll use it to understand this translation process. Uh, we'll just skip to the end of this pipeline when uh, the compiler translates LLVM IR ultimately into assembly code. Now the nice thing about taking a look at the LLVM IR is that if you're curious, you can actually follow along with the compiler. It is possible to ask Clang to compile your code and give you the LLVM IR rather than the assembly. Uh, rather than passing the dash S flag, which hopefully you've already seen, that will translate C code directly into assembly, if you pass dash S dash emit LLVM, that will produce the LLVM IR. You can also ask Clang to translate LLVM IR itself directly into assembly code, and that process is pretty straightforward. You just use the dash S flag once again. Really?